Hey everyone, welcome to Connection Street. My name is Doug, I'm pastor of Faith Lutheran Church. We're located on Connection Street in Shelton, Washington. Wanted to reach out to you today is August 12th, 2020, and was thinking about worship. The churches are making news these days. People are asking questions about whether Christians should worship during COVID-19. Well, the short answer to that question is yes, Christians definitely should worship especially during a pandemic. The, the, the better question might be, or question is really how, how we should worship, given the, the public health concerns that we have, vulnerable populations and media, um, large crowds, indoor gatherings, singing and that sort of thing. So let me offer three biblical ideas for worshiping during a pandemic. The first is from Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, where, where Jesus says, where two or more are gathered, uh, there I am with them. And so I invite you to be in a small group within your family or maybe close neighbors, whoever's in your bubble, and worship together. You can do that simply with a Bible or with a time of prayer, praying for one another, sharing highs and lows. You can do it. Uh, we have some resources at our website, www.faithshelton.org. You can access our podcasts or, or worship resources on YouTube and Facebook Live. Uh, another biblical idea for worshiping is from James, the first chapter, verse 27. He says that uh, the kind of worship that honors God is this, uh, to look after orphans and widows in their distress. The best way that we can worship God is by serving God's people. And so look for ways to maybe a next door neighbor or someone in your church family uh, or, or community lifeline or some way where you can volunteer, where you can take extra time just to check on your neighbors, say an extra prayer, offer a ride or to pick up groceries, wearing masks, socially distancing, all that kind of stuff. But when we care for our neighbors in need, especially widows and orphans, we honor God. And that's what worship is, isn't it? The third way that um, in the Bible that we can think about or talk about worship comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Paul says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. That means let's live our lives as Let's worship 24-7, that everything that we do, everything we imagine, every encounter that we have are opportunities to, to offer ourselves. Um, as, as the scripture says, let our light shine before others, that others may see our good works and glorify God in heaven. Worship isn't about an hour on a Sunday morning in a particular building. Worship is 24-7, 365 days out of the week. Every opportunity that we have to, to love and serve neighbors in need, any time that we have opportunity to, to be with one, even one or two friends, uh, sharing scripture, praying together, any time that we can offer ourselves as living sacrifices, we are worshiping God during a pandemic. Lots of uh, debate about that, lots of uh, Earnest churches making hard decisions about worship and, and, and what it looks like publicly on Sunday mornings. Faith Lutheran Church is part of that conversation. I ask, uh, I ask God to bless and keep you as you and your family make decisions about how you're getting out there, how you're protecting yourself during this time, how it is that we can serve our neighbors. God bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you as favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.